Good morning, it's one minute past ten. Let's get the latest news update with Anita McVeigh. Good morning. Now, time and again, we hear about people with mental health issues who die whilst in police custody. And more often than not, the investigations into their deaths find that mistakes were made in how they were treated and that their deaths were avoidable. Now, the body responsible for those investigations is calling for change. The police watchdog, the IPCC, has focused its recommendations on the case of one man, James Herbert. He died in police custody when he was 25. Using his experience, they've identified common mistakes which they want police to learn from so that some of these deaths can be prevented. Um, lots of you still getting in touch with us um, about cycling. Uh, we're going to be talking about this in a little while. Um, about this idea the government is looking at whether there should be dangerous cycling law brought in, much the same as the dangerous driving law. Uh, Mark has emailed to say, I don't condone bad cycling, but as a cyclist... Now, the consumer group Witch says we should stop buying fridges and freezers with plastic backs as they could create a fire risk. Now, it follows a five-year campaign by the London Fire Brigade to have fire-resistant backing on such appliances. Today's warning is likely to be taken seriously because, of course, the Grenfell Tower fire, which was started by a hot point fridge freezer, even though it's not been confirmed whether that had a plastic back or not. Well, joining us now. So do we need new laws to tackle irresponsible cyclists? With me now is Duncan Dollimore. He's the Dream Live is up next. Have a great day.